it's me Melissa and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another drive to the flea market I know I said I wasn't gonna do this anymore but I figured maybe one more time because this time's gonna be a little bit different if you hear any rattling that's the table behind me I literally got three tables in this car so there's gonna be a lot going on so the reason this one's gonna be different is because my friend Mari that helps me out all the time she actually is going through a divorce and about a year ago she left the house and pretty much only took a little bit of stuff with her. I don't think she realized she wasn't gonna go back. But now that she hasn't had her stuff for a while, she just got access to it not too long ago. So now I'm gonna be giving her some room at my tables for some of her stuff, because she hasn't seen these things in like almost a year. So she didn't even know half the stuff she even had. So she's gonna be taking some spots of this. So that's why I try to get another table in here. I also, my goal today is to try to show a little bit more if I can. And then if I'm feeling up to it, I might show you tomorrow, like what happens on the day after the flea market and make kind of this my last flea market one. We'll see. We've decided that we aren't going to do it from May, June, July, August, September. So we'll give us a little bit of a break because it'll just be too hot. Today is actually, right now it says it's, what is it, 59. It's supposed to get to 67 today. Um, I am wearing a tank top, yes, but I am wearing pants. Actually, my whole entire outfit right now is the storage unit best score ever <laughs> so yeah so it's now 654 um I should be there in like five minutes uh and my dad should be there a little after oh, I'm catching all these lights um my dad should be there a little after seven and then Marty should be there at nine um it usually takes me about 30 to 45 minutes to an hour to get set up probably about an hour about an hour to set up <laughs> so um yeah so I'm excited I like the fact that it's cool I'm enjoying that. So, see you guys soon. So, FYI, <laughs> these are not long enough. Good thing I bought a crap ton of them, so I will just bring three when I come the next time. But yeah, it's gonna be just a mini donuts, and I can't find one clamp. It's gotta be somewhere. I'll figure it out. All right, guys, so here's everything. I used all the hooks I had, and I even had two of the two I got from the Dollar Tree. They actually do hold, so. I probably shouldn't have bought all those expensive ones. Now, some of these items are you're, you're not have not seen yet in videos, so I apologize, but the videos are coming soon. <laughs> we have all this, so it's toys, and then I put the rest of the stuffed animals down here. And then I did Christmas. Now, I still have a lot of stuff to put out because Marnie isn't here yet, and I'm not sure how much room she's going to need. Some cups, I'm calling this home. <laughs> A lot of beeping going on. There's my dad. Say hi, dad. It's almost 9 a.m. We just pretty much got everything out. So here's all the stuff. That thing right there um, fell over last time, so I put some weights on it. <laughs> I'm now gonna do all the nail polish for a dollar because, you know, whatever. And then I made this spot for Marnie, though I'll, if she needs more room, I'll just take some stuff off. Because I'm unsure how much she's actually bringing. These are games from my parents' house, my mom told me to sell and stuff. And then here we have the clothing, the miscellaneous stuff I saved. Back here we have the blankets. And that's it. Yep, we're ready. All right, so Marnie's here. She's got her stuff set up. This is, now she has lots more to, to do, but this is what she has right now. Oh. That was like my favorite album from Pearl Jam. This right here. And then she also has the back area over here. Stuff, lots of like um, sewing stuff to type. I only have one blanket left. I can't believe it. All right. Next time you'll see me might be the uh, the end. But we, we sold some. But nothing, nothing crazy. It is cold. I think Rob's going to bring me a zip up. So we've hit kind of a lull. Good morning. Um, it's cold. Rob came and brought me a zip up thank god because i was freezing um we're hoping we get a little more pickup is it after 12 now yeah after the, the church rush oh no yes it is on 12 45. so it's 12 45. usually we stay till three but i have not selling as much as I normally would so we'll see how it goes all right guys it is the next day if i look a little sweaty it's because i just went and took everything from the car out except for the tables which i'll get later because there's a car parked next to me pretty close and i don't want to you know hit their car <laughs> um it went pretty good the weather was pretty chilly thank god that rob came and brought me a zip up because i probably would have made it um total 
in the end, before table costs, I made $333. And then after the $84 table cost, I made $249. Which is crazy, because Marnie made $49. So we both had a $49 in the price that we got. So I did realize... Oh, also there's a lady called Holly who comes there, named Holly who comes there every time. She's really nice, friendly. She donates um, stuff to the refugees. She sends stuff over to the refugees. So what I ended up doing was saving just like one little bit of stuffed animals to make one more mystery Poshmark box with like more like retro toys, retro stuffed animals, and then gave the rest to her. So she could send them. I gave her a bunch of nail polishes. I gave her a bunch of stuff. So I was like, you know what? You just take these things. I love that you help people, and I'm happy to help you. You're just very, very sweet. So I did that. But now is the crazy part of the day. So, like, packing up. When we pack up, I figured this would be, maybe like, my last video of this, but I'll give you more of the, like, after effects. You can see kind of the whole entire situation. So, like, when we pack up, there's no rhyme or reason. There's no... Hey, let's make sure all this goes in one thing and all this goes in another thing. It's just like, get it in bins. So right now I'm surrounded by bins. And this is the time that I will open up all the bins, go through everything, see things that I think that I might want to make into Poshmark boxes. Then I will box them all up, weigh them, make sure everything's good to go. Uh, then some of the items, like some big things that I got that maybe nobody even looked at, like this thing right here, like nobody looked at at all that I had, I might just put it down to three dollars you know things like that like some of the things that are high price items that maybe i've had for two or three flea markets kind of gives you the idea that they're not, not going to sell so i might just drop them big for the next time and then after that just donate them or keep them for myself or something like that so yeah so this is going to be like right now it's like 10 30 in the morning no yeah 10 30 in the morning and this will probably take me all day like so today's monday the flea market was that sunday my hope is i'm gonna put this video out and the Poshmark boxes on Tuesday. That's my goal. But it all depends on what I get done today and if I can film and edit a video and all that. <clears throat> so that's good to be it. Yeah. So it's another really short video. I'm not sure if I can put another clip in of me packing up. I mean, it's it's kind of monotonous me seeing me pack up boxes or doing that. Like, it's just right now, crazy town. I'm anxious to put on my music loud so I can just jam out and do my thing. But probably in two or three hours, I'll be completed. Alright, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or any questions, please put them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you hadn't yet subscribed, could today be the day? <laughs> it could. I mean, why not? <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. I'll see you soon. Bye.